So have you ever wondered how this VoIP system or I'll say our normal business phone works? If you're curious to know, then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Amit, your host for this episode. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can spin up a server, deploy a PVX system and set up a business phone system for a company. So without further delay, let's get started. All right, so before we jumping into the actual bits of setting up a business phone system, let's learn a little bit about VoIP. So what is VoIP? So VoIP stands for voice over IP and this is a technology that enables you to make and receive calls over the internet. So VoIP technology is not a new technology, but they are better than under your traditional PSTN telephone line. And that is because PSTN telephone lines are much more expensive than VoIP technology. And because of that cost effectiveness, a lot of businesses and companies are now opting to set up VoIP telephone system for their company or business. And with this increased demand of VoIP telephone system, the professional who can actually configure, deploy and manage the uh, like VoIP system has also increased. So this is good news for people who are in IT. For example, if you are looking to build your career in IT or looking to jump into roles such as system admin, IT officer, IT help desk, then having this uh, skill and knowledge to set up a VoIP system definitely gonna help you or give that boost for your career, okay? All right, so now let's learn about the PVX system. So what is PVX? So PVX stands for Private Branch Exchange System. So this is a tool or a system that allows an organization to have control over their telephone communication. Okay, so uh, with the PVX you have a lot of flexibility and controls such as like you can configure voicemail, call forwarding, set up IVR menus and much more. So we're going to be talking all of those features in the later section of this video. So make sure to stick around. Okay, and there are a lot of vendors of different types of PVX systems. For example, like you have PVX from Cisco, Microsoft and um, a lot of out there. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using 3CX as a PVX and we're going to be setting up a business phone on this PVX. So let's get into it. All right, so now head down to your browser and type 3 shakes login on your search bar. Okay, so now And <clears throat> So you see a first uh, link just click 3 shakes login So this is like a login page But if you don't have an account already you need to sign up for it and it is very easy You know you can simply use a Google account to sign in so I'm gonna go ahead and sign up my account uh, So basically, I'm just gonna click here to create account and uh, so it just gives an option to sign in with Google. So I'm just gonna say sign it, sign up with Google. Okay, and I have already created a temporary uh, Google account. You can also do that. It's very easy to create a Google account now. So you can see, uh, see, I've got a um, 3CX demo user. So I'm just gonna use this account basically to uh, get into 3CX. Okay, so now it just asks me to complete uh, things. So I've just prepared 3CX demo. That's all good. I'm just gonna set up my things. I'm just gonna go ahead. Actually, uh, it's invalid character. So I'm just gonna say user. So I'm just gonna say uh, user, uh, phone user, let's do that. <clears throat> okay, last name, I'm just gonna put it user. Let's have that. Okay, so that's all good. All good, just set it up. And it's gonna take its time to create an account, so let's wait. And now we need to add a system, right? So uh, I'm just gonna add a system. So here 3CX gives you uh, multiple choices like what sort of a PBX that you want to set up with 3CX. Uh, for example, here the first option is 3CX free. So this is um, a 3CX hosted um, PBX system. It will be free but with very uh, limited options uh, that you can do. You know, it only supports I think around 10 users. So it is very limited. Uh, so I'm not going to be uh, choosing this because this is not what we are going to set up. And there are other options uh, like 3CX hosted options for like small business and also um, uh, for a professional or enterprise grade PBX system that supports up to 750 users but what we are interested here is 3CX self-hosted or on-prem okay so in this option this is the so in this option we can now use our own server and have full control over it and then we can deploy our phone system on that okay so we're gonna be choosing this option and clicking next all right, so now it's gonna ask you to uh, set up our own uh, host name for the server or like our, our PBX system. So you can just name anything, but I'm here, I'm just gonna say 3CX uh, demo uh, phone system. Okay, and 
so yeah so I just use 3CX demo phone system and here you can choose any uh, domain name from uh, any of the country uh, you know like uh, if, if your country is listed here you can simply choose that uh, if not you can just choose the any of the closest countries so I just I'm um, gonna use Australia and um, so I'm just gonna say use your own SSL FQ, FQDN certificate you don't have to worry about this at this stage uh, you know you can this you can just add this letter anyway so I'm just gonna simply click add, uh, next and here in this option it's gonna uh, basically ask you to uh, choose an extension range for example like what sort of like how many extensions do you wanna have in uh, have it in your uh, self-hosted PBX system so that number depends on like for example 0 to 99 that means that you can have up to 99 uh, users on your PBX system right so uh, and 0 to 999 so that means up to you you can have up to 1000 extensions so depending on how many users or extension you want to use you can simply use um, uh, depending on how many uh, users or extension you want to have on your PBX system you can use that so in here I'm just going to use a uh, four digit extension uh, it's just my preference but obviously you can use any of these for the testing purposes okay so just going to next and choose it's just gonna obviously uh, get automatically uh, get your uh, time zone and i'm just gonna just leave as it is obviously you can uh, customize that part as well so i'm just gonna click next all right so in this step basically it's asking you where you're going to deploy your server either you're going to use a dedicated physical server or a cloud so uh, for the purpose of this uh, demonstration i'm going to be using google cloud as i already have uh, set up my uh, google cloud account so i'm going to be spinning my vm in the google cloud uh, and uh, i'm going to be uh, setting my pbx system over there but as i said again so you can use any other cloud platform like amazon or AGR to deploy your pbx okay so i'm just going to be choosing uh, version 18 and i'm just going to click launch um, so it will take you to the Google Cloud platform and if you already have an account you can simply go ahead and follow the instruction and then uh, set up a VM okay so, and also in the 3CX website there are instructions for each cloud or like you know each method of deploying PBX so you can follow those guides and you can deploy on your own into uh, whichever platform you uh, you prefer okay so uh, here I already have a Google Cloud account I'm not going to be showing you guys how to set up a Google Cloud account and that sort of stuff so that is for another video so you make sure Sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that video i already have a google cloud account uh, it's a free one and uh, you can also sign up for a google cloud account and i think uh, for the trial period google also gives you around 300 uh, credit so that you can play around with the google cloud so i would highly recommend you to do that as well so let's go ahead and set up my vm on google cloud uh, so this is a page we were transferred from the um, 3cx page however i'm also going to show you guys how you can get to this page from the google cloud itself okay so i'm just going to go back uh, into my uh, normal dashboard and uh, just gonna just gonna click on create vm okay and uh, I already have another uh, system that is running currently, but just ignore that. I'm just going to be deploying other one. So we're just going to create instance. All right. So uh, from here, you can simply uh, go to marketplace, and uh, in the marketplace, you have basically a image from 3CX that you can use to deploy your server. Place. So uh, just go onto the search bar, type 3CX. Okay, and in the 3CX yep and we have two results here and since we've chosen version 18 we're just going to be using that version 18 uh, uh, image and from here we can simply press get started okay all right so now I'm just gonna be my uh, in the first project just agree okay yep it's successfully deployed now I'm just gonna click on deploy okay now it's taking me to that page where i can deploy my server it's very easy automated you know obviously there are a lot of customization that you can do uh, in terms of like uh, depending on your requirements but for the testing purposes how you can get started this is the easiest way that you can uh, deploy a pvx system right uh, okay so here the name is already there so i'm not gonna change that uh for now and 
uh, the zone. So zone is basically where your server is going to be located uh, in the Google Cloud. So you can choose, um, it's better always to choose the one that is closest to your location. Uh, so it's in the Europe West. I'm going to change this to the one that is closest to mine, which is, let me just quickly find that. Uh, so that should be Australia's, any of these so I'm just going to use Australia Southeast 1A, all right, and it's it has already chosen its um, uh, like disk, so I'm not going to change any of this as well. And also, uh, it has already uh, enabled the ports that is required uh, to function correctly. So uh, the firewall rule has already been set up as well. So the the only thing that you need to do is simply click deploy. Okay, so just click on deploy and it's deploying your virtual machine now. So we're just gonna have to wait until it successfully deploys your machine and it will give you a public IP address, which you can, uh, you know, uh, then go to the browser and just type that public IP address and uh, then you can start setting up your uh, 3CX PBX system from there, okay? So now let's wait, it is deploying its thing, it's gonna take its time, so let's wait. All right, so it says, my uh, server has been deployed but it contains some warning let's see what that warning is and it says that this deployment resources for runtime configuration in the beta version so there are no planned date for moving features yeah. um, anyway so we don't we're not worried about that for now okay so now we just gonna refresh this page and we're gonna get our uh, service configuration and IP address details from there okay so let's wait and see yep so it has now been deployed and if you see here it has given us a little url here so this is the public ip address and going to port 5015 so this is important uh, for a server to be deployed so we're going to simply click in and from here you can see here that our 3cx um, server is uh, successfully deployed and it is now ready to be configured okay so now we're going to go to our uh, 3CX web page again. So if you see here, there's two options in the step three. So basically, uh, you will be prompted uh, for this configuration file. You can either download it and upload it onto the PBX server, or you can simply copy the URL from here and log in from there. And this is going to be your um, you know, username and password, like an admin password or a root password for your system. So make sure you keep it very secure. And once you are successfully logged in to your PVX system, you make sure that uh, you, know, you have a very strong password and also you have other security things that is set up so that you don't lose access to your uh, PVX system. Okay, so this is very important thing for you okay so now I'm not going to download it there's no point I can simply copy the URL from here and I go to the WebEx page and I'm just gonna go uh, upload a new configuration it says uh, next I have a URL link which I'm just gonna paste here and I'm gonna simply click next so it is now taking that uh, configuration file from the 3CX and now um, you know deploying or uh, doing its thing in the background to set up our PVX system so that we can now uh, get ready with setting up our call flow and that sort of stuff. So let's wait until it completes, okay? Okay, so it's just doing its thing. Now, congratulations, your 3CX installation on this URL is ready. So as I said earlier, so it also gives you a URL uh, or a domain name uh, So you don't have to go to that PBX using the IP address or the public IP address Okay, so your fully qualified domain name is this and you have a licensing key Which is only trial period. Obviously it has now two months trial period during two months You can play around whatever you want. Okay, so this is the beauty of it, right? So if you want to build experience and want to get, get that knowledge, I think this is something really great and uh, valuable uh, resource, I believe, right? So, so just make use of it. Okay, so now I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to copy this, go to my search bar and type in that URL. <clears throat> Let's see what it comes with. Yep, so now see here, now we are welcomed with our 3CX management console login page. And from here, we're gonna be using uh, the username and password that was initially created in 3CX portal, okay? So our user's gonna be here, our user's gonna be this. I'm simply gonna copy and put in here. And our password gonna be here. So I'm just gonna simply copy 
and paste and I also recommend you and I would and I would also recommend you to simply um, uh, you know simply just copy this a password somewhere in very secure location and uh, have that stored as well okay because if you lose the password you're not gonna have access to it anymore so I'm just gonna do that as well I'm just simply gonna download this uh, configuration file just in case uh, you know if I lose this uh, page I'm not gonna have access to it anymore so I'm just gonna simply download that as well save it all right and so now I'm just simply gonna click login and there you have it so we have now simply logged into our pbx system that is currently running on google cloud which is self-hosted by us so now this is our pbx system this is how, what it looks this is a dashboard and from here now we can add users we can add phone system we can add zip trunk like uh, you know so zip trunk is basically the connection that you get from a, a zip trunk provider that is something that we're going to be talking about in next section of this video so now um, if you see here there's a lot of other options digital receptionist ring group queues uh, security advance so basically for the first section of this video we have now successfully deployed our pbx system on a dedicated self-hosted server and this is just the first part of this video tutorial so there will be a second part of this tutorial where i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a uh, phone system on the pbx that we have just deployed today okay so make sure to watch that video and thank you so much for watching this video till very end guys i really appreciate your time if you liked and enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and share your thoughts on the comment section down below and i'll see you next time until then take care